Hello and welcome back to another episode of Rusty JDM. In today's video, the crown is going to be a rolling shell. I'm going to install the front and the rear brakes. I also received my freshly painted radiator support. I'll be installing the radiator, oil cooler, and the headlight. Stay tuned. Okay, so what we got here is um, our uh, front radiator support. And uh, now I'll start with uh, the radiator itself. So this is, uh, this radiator is actually out of um, um, Holden HQ because um, the original radiator was rusted through um, and it cost a lot to repair them so it was cheaper to get one which was um, similar layout as the internal and sorry the um, similar layout as a um, inner and outer for the water um, with the headlights um, to be honest I like the OEM look for the headlights but again getting those were cheaper than buying two of the original ones so they still alright um, the only part is you have to extend those screws here because of the the height of the headlight um, now with the oil cooler for the engine this is optional you don't have to do that um, I just had this kit laying around it actually comes with the oil fitter relocation kit and the cooler so I just thought, I just thought to put it there um, the oil cooler for the transmission is necessary I could have used the um, radiator part for the oil cooler uh, sorry for the transmission oil cooler but I prefer that way and I have also made my um, uh, oil cooler brackets to go on the uh, radiator support because I was waiting for the um, radiator support to be ready because I send it for power coding um, and the last thing is those um, rubbers which they usually go um, in that corner there um, again I had this uh, rubber laying around and I just had to cut them because uh, the original ones actually they're in a bad condition
uh, parts I'll be using today for the brake. So the only new parts I purchased was new bearings, new uh, brake pads, uh, new rubbers. Uh, I zinced the um, the old uh, components, painted the brake drums, the hubs, and the calipers. I also forgot to mention in my previous episode that uh, the shocks I purchased, uh, which I think they were Webco brand, um, they were okay. The only problem I had was this retainer, this bracket was a bit shorter than what uh, the car needed. So I had to refund them and get um, another brand which called Ultima 4x4. Um, they look alright. So the seal I will be using for uh, the hubs so that's a uh, part number for the seal and for the front uh, the small bearing I'm using the Tickman brand and the part number is um, where is the part number 09708 there you go and that's the brand here And for the bigger one, I'm using NTN, and the part number is L68149. There you go. Cool. That's the hub assembly. So the front uh, bearing is in, the rear bearing is in, the seal is in, and the rotors are on too.
All right, so I'm using uh, Toyota Hilux uh, caliper uh, kit, which um, they are exactly the same. The only thing is with this kit, you get uh, this bit here, which holds the two bar when um, they slide into the caliper. Um, but the Toyota Crown ones, they've got a smaller clip, something just like this, but a lot thinner, uh, thin enough to get into um, this hole here. Now, I don't have that and it doesn't come with this kit because this kit is not for this car, which I have to get later. But for now, uh, I'm just gonna put this in and, um, and wait till um, I can find the other bits. Alrighty, so that's how the clips are sitting on the caliper. So you get this main one, which pretty much holding both, and the other split pins they holding this little bar here. And then you get the hard line. So we're gonna repeat the same thing for the other end, and we jump to the back of the car. guys now that uh, everything is done um, so it's time to um, install the last shock for the right hand side which is the, the driver side and um, from that we go to put the wheels
Alrighty. Um, I expected the car to be a bit lower than what it used to be because um, the springs are apparently lowered springs. I'm guessing it still look the same because they need to sit in well and once the car start moving around I think the springs will uh, sit where they need to be. So uh, that's about it. So I'm going to wrap up this video for today. Uh, I hope you um, liked what I've done on the car so far. So the next step will be um, stripping the engine bay and uh, clean it up and uh, give it a fresh paint and then that's when we're going to dump the engine in and we go from there. Oh well thank you for watching and um, I hope you have a good day.